What's up, everybody? How y'all doing this fine Saturday morning? For all y'all that missed the live show last night, y'all missed a good time. Um, we had fun talking some college football, amongst other things. Anyway, uh, some news coming out, or rumor has it, Justin Stepp uh, will not be on the coaching staff at South Carolina. Now, I don't know if this is true, not true, uh, just a lot of stuff going around uh about him uh we hired james coley james coley's hired to take over wide receiver room where justin step was our wide receiver coach last year the rumor was that uh justin step was going to slide over and take over the tight end room i don't know what's going on uh, a lot of people says it's already a done deal justin step is leaving um, I haven't seen anything official come from Shane Beamer or the university or Justin Stepp himself about him leaving. So until I see that, it's a rumor to me. Um, what does that mean for South Carolina? I, if he is leaving, then I guess we got to go in search of a tight end coach after Jody Wright left us to go to Murray State to be a head coach. Where does Justin Stepp go in his future if he does leave South Carolina? We will see whenever he decides to let everyone know. Uh, we know over the years, Justin Stepp, uh, a hell of a developer uh, of wide receivers. We saw that with Juice Wells coming from James Madison, Xavier Leggett, a couple years he worked with him, Josh Fan, Jalen Brooks. There was some development in that wide receiver room and some guys are either in the NFL or had shots at going to the NFL out of that wide receiver room. Um, but overall, you would have to think recruiting wise, he kind of never really brought in the big name. I think a lot of people were expecting South Carolina to secure a big name. I mean, Maisie Bennett that's coming in this year, uh, great kid from the state of South Carolina. I think he's going to be tremendous at South Carolina for a wide receiver. But, you know, looking at our room, guys brought in from Transfer Portal, we don't really have any big guys other, I guess, if Luke Doty's staying in the wide receiver room, He's got some height to him. Um, of course, Nick Harbor. <coughs> Harbor will be practicing spring ball with the football team because he is on a football scholarship. That's part of the deal. Um, so I guess he'll be trying to do that along with uh, running track uh, during the spring. Um, sorry, y'all, that's an ambulance. It is not coming for me, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, so what is that? where does that leave South Carolina? don't know i'm sure there'll be some more coaching hires uh markel blackwell uh is perceived to be the next running back coach there's not been anything official i don't think there's been any contracts signed uh board of trustees did do contracts yesterday uh sterling lucas uh got his contract extended and a raise and uh james cooley got his contract approved uh so i don't know uh blackwell looks like a journeyman uh, i look back through his history he's been on with a lot of football teams he was at Ole miss with judkins and zach evans there uh, i guess he's getting some claim to fame for those guys uh kareem hunt another guy in the nfl that everyone knew uh helping develop him as a running back so we'll see how that works out um looks like most of the offenses that i looked at that he was uh the running back coach looked fairly uh uh, fairly good rushing the ball so i mean i don't know a lot about the guy i did send some messages out to some fans of teams uh like mr joey foster he was at west virginia so i asked joey joey said he really wasn't there long enough he didn't know and that's one of my fears that's kind of a red flag to me when you have you're hiring a coach and you look down and the guy barely stayed anywhere more than a year now he has been at texas a&m for um the past three years, uh, James Coley also at Texas A&M. So that's two coaches off of the former A&M staff coming to South Carolina. Now, Coley has a lot of connections to Florida. Uh, being a hit, he was an offense coordinator for Miami, also worked at Florida State. So recruiting wise, you would think uh, that he can dip back into the state of Florida and find some speed where you look for wide receivers, uh, Florida. Florida's got a ton of them. Now, he will be recruiting against the big Florida schools down here, Florida, Miami, Florida State, and now Gus Malzahn at UCF. But 
he has some connections. We'll see how well he can do. Uh, James Coley, that is. And then Markel Blackwell, we'll see what type of running back coach. We've got a running back. Uh, Rocket Sanders, of course, is in there. Uh, and some some good young talent at running back with uh, Jawan Howell from South Carolina State, big kid. Uh, so we'll see how he can develop those guys, uh, how everything's going to run this year, what type of offense South Carolina is going to run. I still say it's going to be similar to what Arkansas did a few years ago with Lenore Sellers and Rocket Sanders. Uh, I'll just kind of fill in the K.J. Jefferson, Rocket Sanders option type running game. Uh, probably help that offensive line to have a quarterback that can actually get out and run. Now, I'm not saying that Spencer wasn't mobile, but he was not a running quarterback. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what the offense is going to look like. I, I'm going to think positive for now. I, I don't want to be negative going into the spring ball. Uh, it's got a tough schedule coming up. Um, so my expectations aren't like through the roof. Uh, I'm not thinking that uh, South Carolina is going to the playoffs or SEC championship game or anything, but I, I want to see improvement. I think we really have to see improvement. A couple coaches been – a lot of South Carolina fans have been after uh, as far as getting fired, Clayton White. A lot of people want Luke Day going. I don't know how you get rid of Luke Day right now because workouts has already started, um, and he's the main contact for all these kids that are in school right now. He's the one that has to get out there and work with them and have the conversations uh, more than the, the regular coaches do at this point. So anyway, I got to get out of here, run into the store, go and watch some college. I meant some uh, NFL playoff football today. Everyone enjoy their Saturday. And if anything else pops, I'll be bringing a video to you. You guys have fun. Peace.